Hello, what's going on? My name is Anthony. This is Anthony's Gaming Show. It just turned midnight, so we should be able to start our adventure on new Pokemon Snap. I'm super excited because I got to be able to play this game when I was a kid on the 64, and now being able to play it again um, is going to be really great. So this will be my Let's Play. This is going to be part one, so we can do the intro and see how far we can get. And I'm quite excited to see what this game has to offer so let us begin our adventure this game saves automatically that is perfectly fine we speak english here i hope everyone can speak english oh we can change so i can listen to japanese voices but we'll go ahead and stick with english let's choose my appearance is that me no is that me? No. I think this one is the closest. All right. So I wear my hair, my hat backwards like him. I think that will work. So we'll go ahead and click this guy. Oh, I already picked Anthony. Isn't that clever? Let's see here. All right. <laughs> but I want my hat the other way. Whoa. All right, let's start. Yes, I am ready. Oh, yes. Wow. Laboratory of Ecology and Natural Science. And I haven't watched anyone else play yet. So this is just going in completely blind. Screenshot that. Wow. This looks great. Look at that. And the character model looks really good too. Aww. You gonna pet the little guy? Wow. Hi there. I'm glad you could make it. Welcome to the Laboratory of Ecology and Natural Sciences, or LENS for short. My name is Mir. I'm researching Pokemon and their natural environment here on Flareo Island. Yeah, and that's not all. The professor's gonna study every single island here in the Lento region. No one's ever done an ecological survey like this before. It's gonna be amazing. No one? Aren't you forgetting a certain explorer? Oops, good point. You've read the stories of Captain Vice, haven't you? But even counting him, Professor, your survey is gonna be the first of its kind in a hundred years. That's awesome. Well, thanks. This is Rita. Her parents are good friends of mine. She's on a vacation while her school's on break. I'm not just here to goof off, Professor. I'm your research assistant. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. And I appreciate the help. Anyway. Now, before we go over what you'll be doing in this program, why don't we step into the lab and get settled? Yeah. Right. You are, Professor. I'll lead the way. All right, allow me to explain. The Lento region is absolutely teeming with Pokemon. Photographing these Pokemon helps us lead more about them and their eco eco ecosystem. And that's exactly what you're here to do. At night, you might even find see some glowing Pokemon. They're really pretty. All right. Now, without further ado, here's your research camera. Oh, that's a really cool camera. I got the same one, and we can use them to communicate with each other and the rest of the team, too. That's right. It's more than just a camera. It lets you keep in touch and analyze the data on the fly. Yep. It also serves as a sort of ID badge so for you here, so take good care of it. 
All right, Professor. Oh. It vibrates. What do you think? Awesome, right? <laughs> the professor invented it. Can I explain how to use it, Professor? Sure thing, Rita. Assist away. I'll go ahead and take care of some other preparations. Yeah. All right, come on, let's go outside. Tutorials are based on default button layouts. Let's see. Ah. Oh, she's going to voice this? Okay. All right. Okay. I just wonder why I couldn't move. Oh, is it now? All right. Let's see here. Whoa, hey. You can point the camera up and down and then spin all the way around left or right. You can use focus and hold to aim your camera too. Oh, look, here comes Pikachu. Try getting a shot of that Pikachu. First, okay. Yes. All right. Yes, it does. Okay. Okay, Zeal. Should we take a picture when he's like smiling? Okay. Alright. Yeah, so I know how to aim, zoom in, and take a picture. What's that? How's that? I hope you get in the hang of your research camera. Now then, I'll evaluate the photos you took. Would you mind choosing one shot at each Pokemon you photographed? I'll rate them by using my special scoring system. Pick whatever shot you are think is best. My reading skills sometimes are not the best. Try selecting the Pikachu folder. You can move with the directional left or right or by moving the pointer. Press A when you decide to show me which one. We'll go with that one. Now we'll select the Vivian. I only took one picture of it though. Press the pa plus button. We'll show the professor when you're ready for me to evaluate your shots. All right. Starting with photo number one. A new discovery. Oh, it's Pikachu. It's the first time you've gotten it as your subject. So let's see here. The first thing I do is rate each photo one of the four stars. I came up with a system to help us better, to help us understand and categorize Pokemon's behavior. Photos of Pokemon in an ordinary state get fewer stars. More unusual behavior gets more stars. Simple enough, right? To be clear, the number of stars a photo receives doesn't affect the score. Each category is important. By the way, the camera keeps logs of what was happening when you took each photo. The data helps me categorize your photo. I'm back out of the way. Let's move on to scoring. First, I'll evaluate the subject's pose. Come over here. It's 
snappy your photo at just the right moment is key to getting a high Pell score. Now on to other factors. Size is straightforward. The larger your subject Pokemon appears in the photo, the better. Then there's the direction the Pokemon is facing. Try to get it facing you in your photos. Next is placement. Try to get the Pokemon in the center of the frame for a nice balanced photo. And finally, you'll get bonus points if other Pokemon are in the photo with your subject Pokemon. Now I know that was a lot of info at once. Let me boil it down. Remember this and you'll do fine. Get the Pokemon nice and big in the center of the frame, then snap the shutter. With that in mind, here's your evaluation. Looking good. Hard to believe you're a beginner. So I got 500 for the pose, 690 for the size, 821 for the direction, 1000 for the placement, no other Pokemon, and nothing for the background. One star. Gotta start somewhere. Now Vivian. Next is Vivian, a new addition to our research. I'm not gonna get a good score. 500, 694, 409, 1000, 0, yeah, 2603. Remember getting the whole Pokemon on the frame looks nice and big is key to a good score. Another one star. How was it? What did you think? Once you get your photos evaluated, you can use them to fill out your very own Pokemon photo decks. This will be a great milestone to work towards. Right. That about does it. I think it's time you set off on your adventure. All right. Now then. That should do about do it. See this pod? It'll carry you on your photograph expeditions. It's called the Neo One. <laughs> it's the best thing. It can teleport to far off places in no time flat. Interesting. I finally put the final finishing touches on it not too long ago, but with the help from someone I know. Oh, it helped. You see, it makes use of energy hotspots scattered through the lentil region. Come on, Professor. The details can wait. Fair enough. Let's get you moving. Climb on in and touch your camera to the console. Ooh. I got a little bubble. Keep me safe. Enjoy your first photo expedition. A vehicle developed by Professor Mir and the Pokemon Research Neo One provides a comfortable ride. Oh, damn, that's fast. All right, stage one. Let's go. Ooh. That's the entrance to Florio Nature Park. The Neo One will automatically follow a set route. You can just focus on looking around and taking photos. Let's see what. Oh, Pichu, get over here. Grookey, but it's not looking at me. Ooh. What do we got over here? Okay. Ooh, there's a bidoo. Hey, get over here. Someone's camera shy. Nice butt pick. Wormple. What do we got over here? Oh, there's another Wormple. That one's better. Uh, ooh, what's that? Oh! Halos. Oh, here we go. There's a swana. Ooh. Got 
got that magic carp. I only have 55. Oh, oh, come on, Grookey. Pichu? Okay, that's a decent one. Ooh, what's over here? Oh. You can go full 360 too, that's pretty cool. What do we got? Whoa. Oh, there's a Fufo. Hello, Wurmple, Kayla. Oh, they do have different patterns. That's going to be fun. Ooh, some poofies. Hey, what's that over there? Ooh, poor guys. Uh, is there anything hiding the flowers? Oh, okay, so that's the ending. Basically, it's the end of the course. All right. I guess we should have took more pictures. I think we still had like 50 left or something. Welcome back. All right. Welcome back. I hope you had a good time in the Florio Natural Park. Nature Park. Anyone? Now, just like before, it's time to show me some photos you took. Go ahead and choose one photo per Pokemon. All right. Let's see what we got. So let's start with Vivian. See if we got a better one. Yeah, I like that one better. Dudro. Bufflet. That's the only one I took. Grookey. Let's go with that one. That one looks better. Wormpole. Yeah. Forgeist. Swana. Kalo. Magic card. All right, so from now on, let's just take a bunch of pictures and not just like one good one. All right. Let's see what we get. Evaluation. Let's have a look. Oh, it's really on. Let's take my breath away. Got 500 for the pose again. Ooh, the size went down. Remember getting the whole Pokemon on the frame. It looks nice and big as key to a good sword size. Because I cut off some of the stuff. Okay, so. I guess we'll keep this one. Dodrio. A new discovery. Next, we got Dodrio. A new addition to our research. So it's new. Try getting close up of Pokemon's faces too. Next is Buffalant, a new addition to our research. New. 
size to rig shrimp placement other Pokemon background 2166 all right I wonder how this Grookey is going to come out. 500 for the pose. 15 for the size. Nice. I think that's the best score we got so far. Beat off. 950, 4, 7, 349. That's a pretty good one, too gold star so then there's different stars there's gold bronze and silver stars let's see here let's see what formful got okay who are guys i got three pokemon in that one so 935 for the pose 733,000 direction, other Pokemon. Okay. Swan. Ooh, 4,000. That's the best score we've got. Ooh, that's a nice star. Let's see, what does this Talo get? Okay, the bronze star, magic card. A new discovery. Whoa! A new discovery. I went too fast on that one. Okay. It was the daytime, so he was still tired. So 500, 1000, 369, 998. That's not too bad. <laughs> Excuse me. I got a few of them there. Dang, only 74. Okay. So what did you think? One last thing. Let me tell you about research levels. Oh, am I going to level up? Oof. A little short. Your research level on our course tells you how much progress you've made there. Once that level goes up, you may see Pokemon behave in ways you haven't seen before. The key to raising your research level is to observe all the types of Pokemon's behaviors. That means getting your photographs of them in every category from one to four stars. So in short, fill up that photo decks. Keep in mind, and you'll be on the right track. So get out there and snap lots of photos and cherish the encounters with Pokemon you have along the way. I'll never have guessed it was your first trip out there. Keep up the good work. Yay, I'm a photo program newbie. Smack dab in the middle. I want to save them. After your research trips, you can choose photos to save in your album, which is your space in the lab. You can also resnap to make some changes to the photos before you save them. Oh, I can, can I? All right. Oh, so I can look at all the pictures I took, okay. I get the order snap, number, score. Let's go score. Looks like the Swana was the best one. So we'll save that. Oh, I can adjust stuff? Okay, so let's uh let's try resnap. Oh, that's really cool. Okay, so I can zoom in a little more. And then I can blur it.
Oh, I can rotate. Am I blurring the background or the peach here? I can't really tell. I can't really tell what that's doing either. Let's see. Up here. Focal point. That looks like it's blurring. Ooh, silhouette. Silhouette eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Caption, where is it going? That's cute. Save that one. Yes. Nighty night, that's funny. So this one's nighty night. Nice and calm, noteworthy behavior. That was a two star, I'm surprised. We'll save that one. I wonder if that would have been a better, well he wasn't in the middle of the frame, so I don't know. Huh. We'll just save those for right now. And what do I do? Just move you out of the way. Oh, okay. That was simple enough. Let's go back over here. Let's return to camp. Oh, so the person who wrote the book was Captain Vice, and he saw the Lumina. That covers just about everything. Can we go on a nighttime photo shoot later? Ooh. Not yet, but soon, after a little more practice. By the way, don't forget you can come back to the lab and look at your Pokedex at any time. I'll explain more about it when you stop by the lab. Well, don't let me keep you waiting any longer. Go ahead and have a good time and snap some photos. Yar. Okay. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, like I said, this is going to be my first episode of my Let's Play. Uh, the first course seems like a good place to go ahead and stop. This is the first time I'm doing this, and I hope you enjoyed everything. If you go ahead and take a like the video. If you would like to see more, also go ahead and subscribe. And look forward to doing my next episode so like i said my name is anthony and this is anthony's gaming show so thank you so much go ahead and hit that like button subscribe and we'll go ahead and see you on the next time bye bye